We are three days away from House of the Dragon and the old gods, <clears throat> HBO, have blessed us with a new trailer. I have been feverishly rereading Fire and Blood and compiling this uncompleted massive family tree in preparation for the show, but today we're looking at this Fire Will Rain teaser. Spoilers ahead for those of you who haven't read the book, let's sink our teeth into it. An absolutely glorious wide shot of King's Landing, where its two most prominent buildings, the Red Keep and Dragon Pit, dominate the landscape. There are a ton of ships here, but only one where we can make out the sigil. This is for House Valerian, and House Valerian is known for their dominance of the sea. You might also have seen seven dragons in the air here, so if I were to hazard a guess, this is likely before the Dance of Dragons has begun, perhaps when Daemon Targaryen has come to King's Landing to bend the knee to his brother after his conquest alongside Corlys Valerian against the Triarchy at the Stepstones. Our next shot is of adult Alicent Hightower sitting in King Viserys' chair at the small council. We've seen the king sit here in the last trailer. We'll have younger and older versions of our characters appear throughout the series, as the events of House of the Dragon span centuries, with season one taking place roughly 200 years before the events of Game of Thrones. Notice the seven-pointed star necklace, a symbol of one's faith toward the new gods. A member of the Kingsguard stands watch behind her. We can also see her wearing a dark green outfit, which is contrasted with our next shot of Rhaenyra Targaryen in black. This is important because the factions which split the kingdom in two after the death of King Viserys are known as the Greens and the Blacks. This started long before the Dance of Dragons at the Queen's fifth wedding anniversary where she wore a beautiful green dress, but was outdone by Rhaenyra in a dress of black. From that day forward, those who supported Queen Alicent were known as the Greens and those who supported Princess Rhaenyra the Blacks. I do love how the costume designers have added these scales along her dress, mimicking her family's connection with dragons. Here we have a look at Daemon Targaryen, brother to King Viserys and future husband to Rhaenyra, his niece. This is likely Dragonstone, judging by the background, or somewhere around Driftmark considering the amount of time he'll be spending alongside Corlys Valerian. This is followed by members of the Gold Cloaks, or the City Watch, showing off their allegiance to Daemon, who commanded them from about 104 to 105 AC. Now, I cannot wait for this. This is the huge tournament that was put on in 104 AC to celebrate King Viserys' ascension to the throne. In the books, this takes place in Maidenpool, a town north of King's Landing. However, it looks like they've moved it nearer to the city as we can see the Dragon Pit on the top left. A lot of houses take part in this, we can see banners for House Stark, Baratheon, and Tully, just to name a few, but of prominence of course is House Targaryen, and slightly smaller House Velaryon. It's a bit hard to make out here, but you can see Rhaenys, Rhaenyra, Alicent, and Corlys Velaryon amongst those in the royal box. The two men here are Creston Cole on the left, and Prince Daemon Targaryen on the right. Damon's getup here is pretty badass, and I like the addition of various squires in the background ready to aid their knights as the jousting continues. This is a famous battle where Creston ends up defeating Damon, knocking his famous sword Dark Sister out of his hand with a Morning Star. He'll end up giving the seven-year-old Rhaenyra his victory laurels, but it looks as though they've aged her up for the purposes of the show. Here's a much better shot of Rhaenyra Targaryen being told by her father that they need to protect themselves from whomever may challenge them. What they're talking about here are threats to the secession. For decades, it's been precedent that the throne passes on to the eldest male heir, bypassing any females, but Viserys wants Rhaenyra to take the throne. As we'll see throughout the series, there are many who do not take kindly to this shakeup and will claim they have a better right to the throne than her, so he's warning her to be careful. Here we have some shots of House Valarian's army. There may be some other Westerosi forces in there, led by Corlys engaging in battle. This is likely part of the War of the Stepstones in which he, along with Daemon Targaryen, would go on to claim major victories. These victories due in part to Daemon's control of his dragon, Caraxes, who I assume can be seen here just obliterating the Triarchy forces. 
Now we get into the fun stuff, the dragons. I'm going to be going off descriptions in the book to best identify which dragon is which, but be warned that the designs they use in the show could be different. Here we have Vagar, the largest and oldest dragon in Westeros. By the time of House of the Dragon, she has survived hundreds of battles, which may explain some of the tears in her wings. Tyrion described her as having a huge gullet, able to fit an entire horse, and we can get a little bit of her scale here compared to this actual mountain cliff. She is pretty damn huge. The books, however, never mention the color of her scales, horns, or wings. There is some sort of building in the bottom left, maybe it's a castle or fortification, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Two more dragons here, one of which has a rider on it, it's tough to see. The dragon on the left is Sea Smoke, described in the books as a pale silver grey dragon. He was ridden by Laenor Valerian, who will go on to marry Rhaenyra. The other dragon is Maelys, who was ridden by Laenor's mother, Rhaenys, described as having scarlet scales and crest horns and claws as bright as copper. This appears to be a war council meeting run by Rhaenyra at Dragonstone. In front of her is a map of Westeros, that same one we saw in the latter seasons of Game of Thrones. To our left, we can make out the backside of Daemon, and to his right, member of the Kingsguard, now Queensguard, Sir Stefan Darklin, who escaped King's Landing after Aegon the second usurped the throne. He also took with him Viserys' crown so that Rhaenyra could be coronated queen, so we'll likely see that on screen as well. To his right is either Grand Maester Melos or Grand Maester Gerardus. Finally, we have Sir Laurent Marbrand, a member of the Queen's Guard under Stefan Darklin. As war looms, we get these massive Velaryon ships. I wonder if it's any way related to that first shot we saw near the beginning of the trailer. Targaryen sigil drums beat. I'm just loving the attention to detail and costume designs here. King Viserys moves away from the Iron Throne holding Blackfire, a Valerian steel sword once wielded by Aegon the Conqueror. To his left is Lord Commander of the King's Guard, Sir Harold Westerling. This looks to be sea smoke, just absolutely serving up some crispy delicious humans, likely Triarchy members during the War of the Stepstones. We'll see a continuation of this shot here. Now check out this almost indecipherable picture of a man burning to death. I think this is Sir Harwin Strong, also known as Breakbones, the man believed to be the real father of Rhaenyra's first three children. Rumor had it that Laenor, Rhaenyra's first husband, was gay. Thus Rhaenyra found companionship in Sir Harwin. However, when King Viserys heard about this romance, he had Harwin move to Harrenhal, where he died in a mysterious fire, depicted here. We we don't know who was responsible for this fire, but suspects include Daemon, Corlys, Harwin's brother, and the king himself. Melees does a drive-by against a Targaryen ship. If it wanted to take this ship down, it certainly could. More Triarchy fighters shooting arrows downward, perhaps they're on this cliff on the step zones which will later get blasted by sea smoke. Damon takes on this guy, who some have speculated is the same person seen here from the teaser trailer. This shot is of Laenor fighting in what appears to be Driftmark, and it's possible Damon was here because, for a time, he was married to Laenor's sister, Lena. Now this is pretty sweet, a shot of a baby dragon, likely Sunfire. It's hard to make out in the darkness here, but he's said to have gleaming gold scales and pale pink wing membranes. He'll be ridden by King Aegon II. More dragons and what I theorized is Kragas Drahar, or Crabfeeder, the leader of the Triarchy forces hiding in a pirate's cave, followed by Daemon in battle, likely holding his blade, Dark Sister. We'll later see Daemon riding Caraxes just completely decimating the enemy forces at night. We get a brief image of the small council, likely the same night meeting where Viserys proclaims he won't make the choice between his brother and daughter when it comes to secession. Alongside him is his hand, Otto Hightower, whose daughter Alicent the king will go on to marry. Otto will become an enemy of both Daemon and Rhaenyra. Our second last shot is of King Viserys and what is likely a pregnant Alicent Hightower, pregnant with one of his children. And finally, this appears to be Princess Rhaenyra riding Cyrax among the clouds. I'm sure separating the different dragons will become easier as the show comes along and we get a better sense of their designs. Now I will be doing breakdowns of the entire season, I have not been given screeners for the show, but I'm hoping to have those videos out within 24 hours of airing, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on to know exactly exactly when they're out. Thanks for watching everyone, be sure to like and subscribe, and leave your thoughts and theories for the show in the comments below.